armed with more training, and as Fairfax County Public Schools promised, better technology than in the spring, teachers and students started school virtually today and overall said no major problems. It went so smoothly. Felt long to my daughter, but I think that's to be expected. We were fully anticipating lots of tech hiccups and problems, so it went far better than we expected. Some FCPS parents and teachers breathing a sigh of relief after day one of distance learning. The spring ended with a slew of tech problems. It was not like last year. I think it was better. Rocio Portillo has an 11th and 4th grader who had hoped to be in the classroom. They don't like it at all. I think for the high schoolers, it's a little bit more easier. For my son, he's in fourth grade, which was a little bit more harder for him. It was hard for him to stay still. Teachers like Robin Mejia say they prepped for weeks on what to teach and how. The county has a lot more ready for us. We're a lot more ready for the kids and the kids have clear expectations. Mejia plans to do a regular check-in with her families. How can I make sure that your kid and you are getting the help you need? There is a real screen fatigue with these younger kids. Second grade parent Sarah McClung says to help, they kept some of the same traditions. It did not feel like a normal first day for sure, but we still did like the first day picture and we still talked about goals for the year. And there is a way to find some normalcy, even in this totally weird, situation. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.